season. I know that Carl Roberts left to go to, to Notts County where he's doing incredibly well. How difficult is it to keep players of that standard in your division? It's so hard, especially for Carl, because Carl should never have really played at our level anyway. Yeah. And it just shows Carl done the right thing. A lot of lads in his situation who were out of contract, who had scored for Newcastle first team two or three months prior. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of lads would be like, Bryce Martin's not going there. But he went, he came, he worked hard, he done well, and he got his reward for that. And I, I think he'll go play even higher. Well, in fact, he definitely will go play even higher. Um, mm. But like I said, a lot of lads in that situation would think, I'm not going to play. But he's just scored for Newcastle in the third round of the FA Cup and been on the bench against Man City in the Premier League. Mm. Literally, maybe it's two or three months prior. I think it's crazy when, you know, some of us spoke to Jason Lee about was Newcastle have had some absolutely outstanding young strikers that don't seem to have been given the opportunity. And now you look, mm-hmm. Carl Roberts, turning it apart. You know, he scored at Wembley. Adam Armstrong, banging in 20-odd goals a season. You've got Ivan Tony that was there, banging in 20-odd goals a season in the Championship. How difficult do you think it is for these young players even to get an opportunity in the Premier League? It's so hard. It's impossible. It, if you look at, like, so Adam Armstrong, for example, was my age, and he was always, like, the player that was probably the best one, really. Him him and Cal, really, growing yeah. up. Yeah. And then, if he doesn't get an opportunity, how good do you need to be to get an opportunity? Yeah. You, look, you look, really, at the last one that came through at Newcastle was probably, well, apart from Paul Dummett, but it's probably Andy Carroll. Yeah was probably the last one and you're talking about that was probably over 10 years ago now. Um, it seems to so be, a, especially centre forward, seems to be a position where Newcastle, I don't know what, for some reason, they, they, they either not producing players at that level or they're not giving them the opportunity. But when you look at the likes of Carl and Armour, they are producing them. You know, yeah. The buzz was it's around not- that there was a young lad from Churchill who was going to be the next best thing, and that was Carl. And then we heard of oh, a guy at City Juniors, Armour, unbelievable player. Mm-hmm. Put in Newcastle, they're ripping it up, and it just never seemed to get that real full opportunity. Yeah. First team. Well, the thing is, I think Carl made his debut under under um, John Carver. Yeah. yeah, that was when he was about nineteen. No, but really he would have been. He was about eighteen, and it was in. The, I think it was in the. Um, League Cup at Leicester away, and then it took him another three years to play another first team game. And he played in the FA Cup and scored under when Rafa was the manager. Yeah, scored in that game, and then three months later, the the release releasing him. It's yeah. mental because the two opportunities he's got, he scored in one of the games. Yeah. So so what else? A lot of people might say, well, he didn't take his opportunity. Well, he did. He took his opportunity when he played. Yeah. So, so what else can you do? And so, so sometimes it is better to, to leave. It's like yesterday we was talking about. On, Sean. We were talking about the Longstaff brothers, mm-hmm. and you know Matty came through, scored against Man United. I'm looking at him as a Man U fan, thinking he's the next Paul Scholes or something. Yeah. Disappears off the radar, and it's like none of them are getting it. T- to be fair, I think Matty, even when he's played this season, has, has done well. Yeah. yeah. I think Bruce kind of, it looked like, to me, Bruce was trying to throw him under the bus. He hadn't played this season. I think he started at the way, away to Chelsea or away to Man City or something like that. Yeah. And he was probably the best player. And then he's just gone off the radar again. And it must be hard seeing, like, being a young lad there. And then seeing, like, Joe Willock come in on loan, who's a, another club's a young lad. And yeah. we're playing him in the... And I, I know... He might be better than than the long stats, but where does that leave you if if you're getting other people's young lads who are still developing as well and they're playing ahead of you? It, it's a, I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Do you think that Premier League managers feel the pressure is to keep the senior pros in the team even if they're not contributing? So you know, as a Newcastle fan at the minute, I can't see how Jeff Henrik's playing ever. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. okay against West Ham first game of the season. Other than that, I haven't seen him have a decent game since. And yeah. he can have 15 bad games on the bounce, but yet he'll still play. 
Matty Longstaff can have 15 bad minutes and you haven't seen him for three months. Yeah. I feel like the pressure I would, on that. I've bought this. I, I'll have to justify why he's here. Yeah. Well, a lot for, for a manager as well. It's, it's the easy way out to be able to drop, say, Matty, who probably is not going to make a kick up a massive fuss in the change room rather than somebody who's an experienced pro who's going to have more pulling weight in the change room. And I, I think as, as a manager, it's quite a hard position because do you want to leave someone out who isn't contributing but could massively contribute negatively because he's not playing? Yeah. Or leave a young guy out. Not out. playing them, then playing them. Yeah, it, it, it takes it takes balls as a manager. But yeah. as a manager, you need as a manager, you obviously need to be ballsy. And that's probably why Newcastle haven't had any young lads because managers that we've had in the the past haven't been ballsy enough to hire them in because if you throw a striker in and he doesn't score, he doesn't do well, then all the fans are saying, well, why is he playing? He's not ready. Yeah. yeah. So, it, it, it's to be fair, it's not easy being a football manager. Mm-hmm.